Here, here, I'm the engineer, and I agree with Susan Sontag's idea that photographs furnish evidence, even in today's world of digital photography, because of our interconnected network of computers. Vocal virtual communities have sprung forth, and the overabundance of smartphone cameras. Anyone can become a reporter. Like Susan said in Plato's Cave, a photograph passes for incontroversial proof that a given thing happened. And even if that picture distorts the event, there's always a presumption that something exists or existed, which is like that what is in the picture. Our critical doubt that becomes cleared by being shown a photograph allows the viewer, us, to draw hasty conclusions because of the photograph's visually easy to understand nature. Photography is the most popular way of convincing someone of what has happened. There is a constant internet backlash from commenters that ask for pictures or that amazing event didn't happen. This skeptical internet response is so critical partly because the internet is full of people seeking attention who use equivocation, lies, and spout plain nonsense. The nonsense. The internet is full of junk, essentially. <laughs> Individuals who are obsessed with recording their lives wish to prove they have done something spectacular or dangerous by sharing selfies through social media platforms like Instagram to prove to their peers that what they have accomplished is amazing. This trend of increasingly dangerous selfie taking has only increased in events like the Tour de France. Uh, source, source, uh, aha, source. <laughs> the pics or didn't happen mentality when pictures seem incontroversible, can become dangerous when the mental shifts from pics or didn't happen changes to there are pics, so it must have happened. This paradigm of thinking can lead to mass hysteria, like that of the 2013 Boston bomber hunt on Reddit. The Boston Marathon bombing created a personal and traumatic experience that for many Reddit users, they would pool together their collective pictures in order to identify a suspect. In the wake of the Boston, Bar Boston Marathon bombing, Sunil Tripathi, a Brown University undergraduate student, was misidentified as the culprit before the actual suspects were named by the FBI. Sunil committed suicide by throwing himself into the Seekonk River. So yes, I do believe that photographs still furnish evidence as today even in today's world of digital photography.